at this newly nationalized Dorale container terminal in Djibouti, workers report for duty. Until last week, they were employees of the UAE-owned Dubai Ports World, which in 2006 won a concession to operate the port for 30 years. The port's new leadership is working hard to manage any fallout from the government's takeover and also reassure the workers. A new company called Dorale Container Terminal Management Company is now in charge. It's owned 100% by Djibouti. You, the employees, are witnessing the making of history, and you are key to our success. The government of Djibouti seized control of the port, saying its contract with DP World was damaging the country. A statement from the office of the president said the agreement was one-sided and compromised the sovereignty of the nation. The move is a setback for DP World's stealth geopolitical onslaught and search for ports on the Red Sea coast. But people we talk to on the streets are happy about the government's takeover. We support the president's decision. We only took back what belongs to us. All Dubai ports was here for a sabotage. They were against Djibouti developing at all. We are happy with the departure of Dubai ports. There is no point catering for the interests of those who don't care about your own. Just days after the Djibouti government cancelled its agreement with Dubai Ports World, the company has signed a deal with the breakaway Republic of Somaliland and Ethiopia, one that gives it the majority stake in the port of Berbera in northwest Somalia. The Somali government has described the agreement as illegal, null and void, and an affront to its sovereignty. There are concerns here that the 19% stake Ethiopia was awarded in the Berbera port deal could deny Djibouti some much needed business. Despite its small size, Djibouti has become an important player because of its position on the Babel Mandab Strait, a crucial shipping lane to Europe from the Gulf and Asia. It has been the gateway to landlocked Ethiopia for more than two decades, with most of the 100 million strong nation's exports and imports passing through Djibouti. Officials here have been quick to downplay the agreement of a Berbera though. With six operational ports and two others under construction, they say Djibouti is able and willing to serve the entire African continent and beyond. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Djibouti.